The man accused of kidnapping, torturing, and holding a woman captive for days in Detroit faced a judge this morning. He's now been officially charged with the crimes, and a 7 Action News reporter, Jennifer Bisram, learned he has a horrifying history. She has more from the West Side. This abandoned home is now known to many in this Detroit neighborhood as a house of horror, and we're learning the man who gave it its name has a history of attacking women. Uh, yes. 49-year-old Alex Moore facing a judge this morning, charged with torture and sexual assault with intent to murder. Police say he pulled out a knife on a 54-year-old woman in Detroit last week, kidnapped her, and brought her here, where she was held captive for days while being stabbed, raped, and tortured. She was kidnapped and held captive for at least two days. We're told the woman managed to escape from the abandoned home on Schoolcraft near Schaefer and tried to get help. She was later found down the street so badly beaten and raped she could barely walk. But criminal records show that Moore has a horrific history. In 1990, he was convicted of second-degree murder, and in another case that same year, he raped and tortured a woman and tried to kill her. He served 19 years in prison and was let out in 2012. His parole ended two years later. He's a career criminal, certainly did uh, lots of time uh, for a similar assault some years ago. And so this person gets out of jail and essentially commits the same type of crime. And Moore remains in jail. The next time he will face a judge is on September 21st. As for that 54-year-old woman who was held captive here, we're told she remains in the hospital in critical condition. On Detroit's west side, Jennifer Bisram, 7 Action News.